Hey guys, welcome back to another build episode. Today, we're going to be talking about the Rogue. So if you like big numbers, the Rogue build is definitely going to be for you because you're going to be hitting around 3 to 4k damage per stab. And now let's get into the build. So first of all, the passives you're going to be running are Quick Cooldown, Crit Cleric, and Magic Life. Quick Cooldown can be acquired from the Shop Vendor, Crit Cleric can also be acquired from the Shop Vendor, and same with Magic Life. It's going to be a late game build since you're going to need all these shop things. There's another variation of it but I'll go into that afterwards. So the reason for quick cooldown over money magnet is because money magnet is quite unreliable, I guess, in getting money. Not all mobs that you're gonna kill are gonna drop money. And so having the flat three seconds reduction rather than getting cooldown reduction for money is always, I guess, more consistent in the damage. You don't wanna be running around waiting just to find money just to get the cooldown, lower cooldown reduction. And it's quick cooldown. But Craig, honestly, when you're hitting for 3,000 damage on backstabs, 30% of that is like 900 health. You're never ever gonna die. Hence, this goes into magic life. Even when upgrading your rogue's backstab ability, you're gonna be draining a lot of mana. So, if you have magic life tapping into your health, you're not really gonna have that issue anymore. Combine that crit cleric, keeping you at full health all the time, you're gonna be sustained to get that backstab nice positioning. Now, for the abilities, we obviously have Cloaker Dagger, the highlight of the build. Next, I have dodge because I just really like running around, but honestly, these slots are very, very uh, flexible. Cow drops can be flexible, dodge can be flexible for the dungeon. The only real thing that matters is cloak and daggers. These will be your ward breaker slots. So, the other version of build I was testing that kind of you can swap for the boss, but it's less consistent since you're going to be very low cooldown, and that is poison tips, crit cleric, and slug secret. So with this build, you're going to be probably stabbing the back for like 4,500 damage around there. And the only time you're going to run this build is if you know you're about to face a boss. And you probably can kill it in 3 to 4 stabs. But you're going to be kind of running out of mana, so this build is a little bit less uh, consistent. Because if you don't land those back stabs, you're going to run out of mana. You're just gonna, it's gonna be a cluster. It's, it's, I don't know, it's gonna not be a great time inside that boss room. You're running around trying to kill smaller mobs. It's kind of more annoying. Yeah, that's another variation of the build if you are fine with it. The reason for Poison Tits over any other status is because it lasts the longest generally. And Crit Cleric is because, you know, you need something to keep you up. But, you know, if you don't need, if you don't care about that, then you can honestly... You can run Magic Life after you. Anyway, those are the two versions of the build. I personally like the first version more, which will go back to that. Which is Magic Life, Crit Cleric, and Quick Cooldown. Alright, I'll show you guys some clips on me using this build. All right, I hope you guys enjoy that build. It's kind of fun. It's kind of nice seeing all these big giant numbers. I don't think any other class can do bigger numbers than this. Maybe the robot? Probably not. All right, and I'll see you guys in the next video.